welcome and welcome back to AC channel. My name is Maggie Kenyori. Thank you so much for tuning in. The YouTube channel is Maggie Kenyori. I do lifestyle, travel, and cooking videos. If you're new here, welcome so much. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for the support and for the new subscribers. Karibu sana. Welcome to the family. And today, we are traveling. We are moving out to the Nairobi Gallery. For the artwork, I'm going to show you around, so stay tuned for the charges. A resident adult, they charge on 50 bucks. It's quite affordable. Let me show you around. Nairobi Gallery, I came to show you the art made by people, children, and they're very interesting. Look at some pictures. And I got this one also. They say there's someone who tried to demonstrate how Nairobi looks like. And I think they tried. I think they made it. Of course, they have demonstrated like everything with have case, you see. We have on the buildings cover here. And something else they told us, like the different materials which they use to draw the pictures and with clay, like for instance, this one is very like that, it's from a kid. And the other ones are very hard. They are drawn by drawn up. Then is this one. The artist used Ne Misumari and dress to make things work church. This is really amazing. I think people are very gifted. <laughs> and then there's me, I can't even draw. Look at that. African kingdoms. I think these are the items they use to wear and to put on in their bodies. Yeah, we love the necklaces. The jewelry. This is the African heritage jewel. So during that time, he met with different communities. This is inspired now from the different communities. Paleju, the brass, that one. They got inspired by the Turkana community. Then on the side, you look for, yeah, that one is the Turkana one. Here, here. Here, you find something from Maasai. Then look at your left, left hand, Utaona, something red, red. So that is Maasai and a wow. bit of Somali. Then you have got the center one, Kiochini, from Kisi. It is made of soapstone. Soapstone? Yes. What about this one? Yeah, yeah, red. It is made from the Yoruba Nigerian community. It is more of beads. And then you get a tunic creativity. So here, it is made from a necklace. I'll show you the necklace. And then from a section here, in the, he's in the gold. Oh, yes. Like the golden dinner gold. Exactly. It is a collection from Joseph Morumi. Those are awards that he won. And it was given by the different countries he visited as the Minister of Foreign Affairs. We have got some coins he was able to purchase from the CBK. Of different countries, yes. Is a kind of coins maybe you will be able to notice. Kuna hadi ya Somalia, kuna ya. You can make one big. Ah, ane kanda ako. Ah, Brazil. Ile e. Yes. So he bought from the different countries. What is this? Post stamp. Yeah, ne. Stamp is is a kuto maleta. Success can never become a hizo. So the Britain some and gold. And then when you do on your top right, that's a possible collection top right. That is a personal collection that she's only woman that. 
hiyo pale ya mkondo the frog earrings iko hapo juu na vitu kama hizo now that is africa ni silver inspired by now by addition tradition yes that is the region now this is the tradition and the uh, region got so ni ni tradition ni ni tradition the senon do do yes Honorable in Kenya we wear a lot of kitengs during the rush uh, so that is what the markets look at the top right top right here hapo you will see the new areas so that is the lady who is about to be married and that is something to identify her which which any uh, india india yes okay mona azeka ya kenya collection any collection ya joseph burundi and best friend ya kenya and god So this is what they connected. We don't we don't introduce because the museum is 100% dedicated to that. Oh. Yes. Okay. Ah, again we went. So we had Terence was the form of butter treat. Um uh, these are the items that they had the acceptable value. What is this? Kaushel we form of a hand uh, hand something. Mitenza kama kufi. Oh. Sai wa wa exchange. Eh in the loser. In the Kenyan shanga my shanga made of cushion still good really good really bits really bits is in the bits too but now they from uh, immediately what you are looking at on the flat section mm-hmm. those are original bits so we have got water agates is a tony mare found within mm-hmm. the river bits and then we have got now original bits made from jasper we have got portuguese bits like to come here then on your left the unit those are thick thick bits false coral bits so they were worn by hustlers who wanted to look like the royals because the royals bits are worn by the royals and those of the high social class so false bits the lack of balisha anybody have but you keep at can they originally of the dome now there is a bit shine bits shine bits beautification purposes mostly by guards we are showing the different patterns and if you look if you look at the left section mm-hmm. you will not be able to see the dance who are wearing it mm-hmm. yes yeah. that's sahara that's a collection from sahara i told you alan dorava traveled from paris to kenya so these are the things he collected when in sahara no okay. what are all these around here still collection from the sahara community oh. yeah nice one That is a technique used to make those items. So you take clay, you mold it into a shape you want to have in it. Then you take metal, sana sana wanatumia brass because it is cheap na ilikuwa ina kaa gold gold. Ukimelt, it will cool down, it will assimilate that shape. And then I'll fine tune. Along with the items you can see huko chini, they are in demand from India. Because you see some of them and they sell their pots. So they are in demand and we were able to trade that as a commodity. Fine minimum It is a metal that is readily found in Africa. So he think you will go and wanna utilize that metal. Oh, okay. What it takes is in it. Yes, wanna take it there and don't only go take it there for the digital one of the five. Come here some digit two way up to our readers. I may think of the meeting of national museum of Kenya because see kuna miza mingine na like a national museum of Kenya. National museums is the man about Madam Bond. Yes, like it has carried to some oh. galleries. Then it's the one that is in charge of everything in museum, the collection, the uh, local sites, archaeological sites, the one managed by the national museums. So how many branches in a row? In a row is it so good? So we have the Lady Museum of the Hind on the coming weeks and the uh-huh. other on our private center. So it may just be good. Okay. Hi, I told the hapo this was jewelry made in respect to the uh, Egyptian royals. The queen had got the uh, jewelry and paintings done the dress to her position. And then your section ya chini maliko na amba that's a personal collection ya Sheila Mirumbi she was wearing it on a day to day basis. Aha. Uh-huh. Kwa ashi. Yeah. No it is a family has been there. Oh. So we has another same Joseph Murundi na Sheila Mirumbi. Yeah. Then how can have got a collection of East Africa collection ya jewelry? when they have on here cover the top of iris collar it was worn yeah. out yes it was worn by the masai girls who are candidates of circumcision and by your yes, day yes the view of the river yes and then into the hitchini bidwork you can have a river na 
different ladies and uh, we can manage the top right, top right hapo. We want a lady who has won, who has won the match of it, who exemplify that she's silly in marriage. I told you about the change. There is a man. Look at the top right. Two copies, sir. That is the year in the year. It is a which that was the pinnacle set. It is known as a Hambara part to detail, to describe the detail in the full year, sir. And then big work. Big work originally was done for the Kamba community. Kamba community, yes. Not the Masai. Originally, it was Kamba. Masai only took me to GT for all this. And to say, okay. Census from Kenya, or we shut down from this point. This back in. Like zero. So, we're not only going to land zero to a hundred. Zero is still. To 500 kilometers in Mopasa, 600 to Mata, a bit less than next. It is around more clear. So the South African schools collected from different communities uh, based on the factions. So when the topic you need to. Why is the key for you? We don't specify. You don't specify. You don't specify. But you don't specify. 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 You it is originated from India and it can also be originated from Kenya, near the coastal community. To Kana, Kenya, it is made and used for the function of something that was the pretty good. Only. Only and as many as in. Kinda go to sir. More of a spoon. For most of the part, something spoon. Mm hmm. It's for what you are Zulu. And so you have got to be. Oh, It was used as a decorative piece. Gifted to ladies after marriage. Yes. In a piece gifted to Joseph Morumbi by Wyanzanian community to showcase the Ujama system whereby they believe one two together brings more results for net one. That is why you can see it has got a lot of heads put together. Oh. Then we have one that's tool. Yes, sir. Yes. It's the first unisox tool to be made in Africa. It allowed the ladies and men to sit on it. Otherwise, ladies were supposed to sit on the ground. But for this tool, it was made the Kiandalem Kuchini, inside the dam, and here's a near in our lake. It's a pillar. Oh. So it is supposed to signify what a man can do on the habit. The ladies were allowed to sit on it. No. Yes. So this connection. It's a great It's a poor thing. Like Malagay na kwa na imbokatu. The same way Malagay ko ili achakula, and you cannot bash in a mea. Okay, well, that's a dandy, and you'll just hear the sound, and it's produced. The kito are so tenuous. See, now we're in a Johini chapel. The kito are here empty, but I'll just have this. Say, you call original, yes. I'm Nikova, a lap of the a lap of the collection. So, here, collection, this is a collection by Peter Nzuki. The only thing he collection in New York, he was able to make uh, gift pieces from the tortoise, the birds in a paper mine. This is another place. Yes, and about to use it in Utah. These things were used by men, and especially after the transition. So a man is uh, supposed to go look for perfect food in Yahita Kunjika Araka, look for the metals, this is you, and shake them into a figure that he wants. I think when I end the particular instructions, we think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Mainly, Kalabash is true. Yes, we come back to Kalabash. These are uh, specified Kalabash. Here, we're going to bid work. It was used by ladies during uh, traditional ceremonies. A lady and Galatea, the new father in law, traditional Mika, for the dowries negotiations to begin. Then we have got uh, the big one, Iko Hapaju. It is called uh, Akaru. Akaru? Yes, by the Turkana community, Yakupe beverages. Beverages. And like easy Kalabash Zote, the top uh, part translates into a lid. Like in a quaff, kikombe, unakunya, and I don't drink direct. The rest you have to drink direct. Now, when I say I can reference the Nina in Delgo, one titi and even kill all one attacker. The sir, on a tangazi, let's see what does it matter? No matter, I'm a packy idea. Napa, I am ready. Yes. Hakuna modification, maybe. Hakuna modification, they were funny. The gods that were worshipped back there. So I will mention at least three. Transana here in a lot of bits, hapo katikati, the honey one. 
it was gifted to girls immediately they found out that uh, they were the first way situation. So it's supposed to pray for fertility, encourage for circumcision of Kamahenza. Then he go up on this one. You can pray to it for marriage, to get a partner, to to him after circumcision of Kamahizo. Do they have like specific commodities? Yes, when you answer to join as a Masai to Mkana and to come home. And then kule mission on our to William and Kahanza Malsam. So that is a man and a woman who have been gifted those gods to pray for protection, to pray for children, and to come his own. Here, if you have a question, you can ask me to go around to come and ask me It's called a solution. So it is a physical sign of fertility. Yes. Beautiful sign. Yeah. Now, how I, how do you know? I'm not sure what you have, but oh, okay. After menstruation, they believe that is a physical sign. Then you need to wear that because the food is it's funny for me to wear them. But we have got their first shelf. So he says, Nafanana, they are called the Beji Gods. They are gifted by a Nigerian community. They are gifted to a mother who has got a twin children. So it's supposed to be a prayer that they live for long because twins are a taboo. So they believe that a poofatu haraka. Why do you believe that a taboo? The community had specified that kupata twins are taboo. So he is requiring for the twins to pray for themselves and also the family to pray for the twins to stay for law. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, this is a wedding cloth. Wedding cloth. Yes. So a girl when you are married will tie this around their waist to show that they are the bride. And next, from Borana community. In okay. Kenya, yes, Borana. So if you go close, you notice that is human hair. Here you are going to say. Is that? Yes. Then in that community. We will sacrifice their hair, uh-huh. shave, clean it to help the elders be recognized. So you're getting meetings on a year and a moment. A bit of wax to hold together and clay, and a pelican feathers to identify the clan. And then he was a kabisa. And then he in Guinea, it has come from an island within the club of porcupine. It is won by a young man during different celebrations. Yes, that's a knife. A knife? Yes. Men would carry it while going for feasts. Kashere. Okay. If the squeeze shere to a bombzing, I water the corner the bay. And then. Yes. You cannot share. Me me know who it is to make this matter. The traditional knows. Kisha. To aiku bana kia. We can't even accept to share. Kuna ile kapai buki maevi ya kila mtu kwa. This is the personal collection. The tuzi ni collect with time. Tuzi ni kwa na tumia. If you can look at behind you, here is a picture of um, Billy Nimbeke, who is a kind of a guy here. Ah. Can you picture of Billy Nimbeke? Yeah, I see you there. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Oh, you're going to go? Yes. So this is Mugumbi's most favorite club because it appeared in every time we meet. It's known as Manidadi, and it was found, not bad, it's the, the Soheli name, and it was uh, originated from Soheli for a wee bit. Okay. And then, what do we see with the picture of? Uh, Burundi was too much with also the Maha issues. So he was even sent to seven different countries for the purposes of speaking on the message of independence. But how was that when I I'll come to my outside country and then I'll get a lemon for independence in Kenya. Oh, yeah, Kenya? Yeah. So how was that when I rest? Because for the time I got the bar monkey. Oh, these were now. Yeah, you get your wanted dead people finally. Hey? No, no, you want to have more and you have to take it. It's not true. It's only a picture showing this for digital life. And he says, he suffered the certificates from the different countries and the different awards which we got to you on the other day. Murumi was born in 1930. And uh, he was born by, from an Indian father and a Maasai mother. Ah. Then at the age of six, he went to Cali, to India for further studies. Akarudi, sasa na Akarudi, he was secretary to different organizations, Kenya and Somalia. Then from there, he started his political journey after invited by his friend Pilgrim Apinto. Arise all the way to an MP, foreign affairs minister, and finally the deputy president for a very short time. So he was the second vice president of Kenya. In terms of art, he's the pioneer African artist for that. Have you opened archives and do you picture archives in Kipugulo? Here, 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 here. Next, next, Joka Bisa Sasa. Yes, here are the archives in Kipugulo. 
So that so, is how. So that's why we have the a lot of artwork. Yes, you do. You go na pesa, na pia you go na interest. You go apenda and collect. Yes. Oh, yes. And then, so I'll care for an affairs minister. Si amenda kanti tofauti uh -huh. on official state visit. His uh -huh. certificate. Certificate to him. Alafu kwa jiu ndi ruku raizene to stars as a gold nini. They are accompanied by this. These certificates? Yes. Okay. Hili, this is a display cloth done by Sanagateja. It is made out of bark, bark and he materials. Here are brown, and then leather cuttings, it is extracted from wood. Wood? Yes. And then kuna leather cuttings, na aluminium, uh, still for visibility. Here kitu imetengelezo kuonyesha, the grave, the grave something in the top where does it look? Yes. Then kando yako, we have got a lamba mena. So lamba mena was more into mummification, and uh, the dead would be, the dead would be honored by being dressed in this after they are actual barrier. So like with the time in a patam to Lukufana, but we show him. Yes, he ought. Yeah. Yeah, coffee and everything, coffee to sandals. And then Muku Kando Kando no Nahiza Ma picha, they just tend to show the modern infusion of modern and traditional a fashion show sequence. Yes. Ah then up next to Kona Naito World Hockey that is won by Still in Nigeria, by ladies accompanying their own husbands to different occasions. Must be a happy occasion. But in Yuma Kabisa, if you can see, was still the same shelf, and we demonstrate a lady wearing it. Was a baboon. Economy of instruction. So now they can access with this. Uh, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Then Kitambo, I took out to the Bangladesh girls who are exposed to bomb on Namini. So they would use the African whips to make a decoy or less. They would use it to cover themselves because we cover the pants. Then we have got a wedding cloth from Mali, Nigeria, Nigeria. Uh, that is what they were using for their weddings. Saya was Canadian or you? Alan Donovan, who was the best friend and the manager of Hinst, he would trust and. I'll call the community to say that you a black thing. Yes. If you require a work of a granary, money mostly kuna chakula. So, panya ke kukiwa na moon, light ki heat up, sikuta kuna reflection panya chini. So, in a fukuza panya before idea kwa chakula. That was the concept. Yeah, shine. I'm a kusiku. Kukiwa na reflection, so now it is an object by itself. Light can bounce back. And then here's the royal lions. Royal Lions placed outside the Haone, com the Haone community to signify where the king and the ruling community were Naka when making major decisions. Mm -hmm. Behind it, to Nigerian clothes. This is known as an ingungu. You. Hey. Amy, crocodile. It is God of Thunder placed inside the Shango Shrine. Shango Shrine, you come catch Kani Senki. Yes. Then he in Goi later. Like he need death now and bid work. Yeah. So he can do it really cool. Like I do not treat me entity. This is how the god of thunder was. Then we have put the Wunfun and advice when they you do go up of venue, one and later man you. What? That's one. You have power up. This one. Ah. So this this cloth, this cloth was one that way, and the saw this is the cloth. Ah. Yes. So it is one piece of cloth. The concept behind this is required. All your dancer in Goa can move. So you don't have to move, move, and he's a man who stands up when you find it in attack. If you go, sir, the ancestors will give you a vision in terms of communication. So it was to make link between the living and the dead. So the master of the was special. Here, the Nigerian, the Cameroon people were calling special, so they have all the pieces. 